Hi, this is Chris Williams with Christopher Racing Engines, and I wanted to take an opportunity to show you uh, some flow testing on a PTS flow bench that I built using Bruce's plans from flowbenchtech.com. Uh, I flow test a little differently than the norm in that I open the valve to the maximum test point and set the depression on the bench to about 28 inches and then close the valve to the minimum test point and open the valve in 50 thousandths increments or 100 thousandths increments, whichever you want to test that, uh, leaving the depression set where it is uh, instead of varying the depression. So I uh, want to show you a little demonstration of that, show you how neat the home-built flow bench is, uh, the software that's associated with it, and um, Hopefully you can learn a little something while I'm learning a little something. So here's the Brzezinski flow adapter, uh, Brzezinski valve opening fixture. Uh, you can see the clay radius that I've made here, uh, all sitting on top of the PTS flow bench. Uh, sorry for all the distractions in the background there and I'll move around to the front of the bench and give you a better view of that in just a moment. Here are the controls for the flow bench. Uh, this dial adjusts the speed of the motors. This cuts your motors on and off and with these switches you can switch the digital manometer from the uh, from intake flow to exhaust flow. So this is a this is a full view of the flow bench. I've got it on casters so it can be rolled around. This is um, not its permanent location. This was a test location. Uh, the it should be set up in a much cleaner area so that you're not risking the potential of pulling debris in uh, into your cylinder head or into your flow bench.
So this is the Excel program that you can get for the PTS uh, flow bench, the digital manometer. Uh, this is a test that I did yesterday without a clay radius and you can see what I was talking about <clears throat> uh, about the depression numbers being higher and then coming to about 28 inches as I open the valve. This is the actual CFM reading and then this is the CFM corrected as you see here to 28 inches of depression. Um, now we'll scroll down to the test that I just did. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. Here you see the same thing. Valve lift bench depression, the actual CFM reading, and then the corrected or normalized CFM reading at 28 inches. Um, and you can come down here and graph a comparison and visually you can see that putting the clay radius on the intake entry, the pink graph, made a difference versus no radius on the intake entry. Um, some pretty neat software to be uh, not necessarily homemade, but something that the individual person can do um, the support from Bruce at Flowbench Tech is excellent and I hope you've enjoyed this little video and that you've learned a little something about flow testing